curry. The smell, the taste, the texture. My favorite. Hi, Chintu and Preeti. Say hello to Alo. I heard you saying that food is your favorite. So, I stopped by. Do you know I can make food appear magically? But only with the help of plants. Come on, don't be amazed. I have that effect on a lot of people. Are you wondering how I know your names? Well, I'm a genie. Friendly, so no worries. Now you said curry is your favorite food. I used to eat that too when I was still alive. But hey, do you know why you will need to eat food? I eat food to make my tummy happy. And I think we eat food to get essential nutrients for our body. Ah, clever answer. Let's see. And you're right. Food gives us nutrients like carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, which all living organisms, including you two, need to survive. Let me show you something. See what's going on here? Every living thing needs to eat to get energy in a usable form. Now, among living things, almost all animals and some plants have to eat other animals or plants as food. These living things who eat food made by plants directly or indirectly are called heterotrophs. Hetero meaning other and troph meaning nutrition. Since these organisms depend on other organisms for food, they are heterotrophs. <laughs> now let me ask you a question. Green plants can make their own food and if auto means self, what can we call them? Autotrophs. That's right. Green plants make food through a process called photosynthesis. Photo means light and synthesis means to make. All right, now let me take you on a magic ride and show you how these autotrophic plants make their own food through photosynthesis. Let's go! Hi, young adventurers. So excited to see you all. The wind tells me that you are here to learn the magic behind how I make food. Are you ready? First stop, the roots. Oh, you tickled me. I was absorbing all the important minerals and water from the soil so that our leaves can make a lot of food today. That's my role, to gather and send ingredients that are needed for photosynthesis. That's right. Let's go meet the leaves now. Welcome to the kitchen of the plant. Just like your parents make food for you, we make food for the plants. Through photosynthesis? That's right. Look, I have a lot of green color on me. That's because of a special pigment on my surface called chlorophyll. Chloro means greenish yellow and phil means leaf. Chlorophyll helps green leaves like me absorb energy from sunlight that is needed for photosynthesis. Actually, any green plant of, part of the plant like green stems, for example, can also make food because they have chlorophyll. Hey, we're the stomata on the leaves. In the morning, when photosynthesis happens, we take in carbon dioxide that plants need to make food. At night, we take in oxygen that plants need to breathe. So our role is to take in oxygen for breathing and carbon dioxide for photosynthesis just at different times. And you see these two Rajma bean shaped faces of the stomata? 
They are guard cells. They regulate the opening and closing of the stomata. So, using the water that the root sends me, the carbon dioxide that my stomata take in, and the sunlight that chlorophyll absorbs, I am able to make food for the plant. The food mainly contains a nutrient called carbohydrates. Carbohydrates give a lot of energy and are stored in different parts of the plant. In seeds like rice grains, in roots like onions, and in fruits like oranges. Without photosynthesis, there would be no food for plants or animals to eat and there would be no life on earth. Ultimately, the energy in the food we make comes from the sun. Thank you, Mr. Sun. Always welcome, adventurers. Glad to share my energy with you. Thank you, Tree, for showing them that. And kids, no need to thank me. Since I'm your favorite, Alo! Let's all quickly take a selfie though. Say, photosynthesis. Photosynthesis! photosynthesis.